Hey guys, so before we move on to the tutorial, I have one announcement to make. I'm a daddy now. Meet Jaden. So my girlfriend Nikki went into labor on the day of our baby shower. And then um, Jaden was born right into the next day at 12.03 a.m. Five pounds, four ounces, tiny little baby. It was crazy though. Changed my life. It was insane. Anyone know where I could get Iron Man onesies or Deadpool onesies? So if you're thinking I'm not going to post any more videos, don't fret, I'll still be posting more. It'll be harder to find time, have a smaller budget, I'm going to be tired, but I got it. I got it. But in the future, I'll be excited to be making kids costumes, kid props. It'll be fun. Jaden will be pimped out like every time he can dress up, like every chance he gets. And I'll for sure be going to Comic Cons taking little baby Jaden with me. And it'll be amazing. Father Son cosplay. Oh, I guess Nikki can come too. But finally, as promised, Deadpool knife plus holster tutorial. Shall continue. For this build, I went with a more customized look rather than an exact replica. I thought I would just have a little bit of fun with it. But people will still get the idea, and it's still pretty awesome. So let's get started with some blueprints. So these are the exact measurements I use for my knife. And what you're going to want to do is get your hands on one of those big paint can stir sticks. Like the ones that you have to buy, not the ones that you could get for free. Um, I like those because it has a great thickness and it was the cheapest piece of wood that I could find at the time. So I'll have copies of these measurements down in the description box below. Um, and in case you were worried, I did make a version in centimeters for those of you who don't like inches. Didn't forget about you guys. When cutting these out, please be really safe about it. What I'm doing here isn't exactly the safest method. I was just really excited to use my scroll saw. So use the usual precautions. Keep your fingers away from the blades. Wear safety glasses, I mean you don't want anything flying into your eyes because how else are you going to watch the rest of my videos? So what we're going to work on first is the guard of the knife. What we're going to do is drill a hole down the middle of the guard, take a dremel and continue to make that hole larger so that the handle could slide through easily. And then also add a little detail on the guard so that the D and the P stands out a little more. Now that we're done with the guard, we can start making the knife look a little bit more like a knife. We're going to sand the edges down just like we did in the sword video, except we're going to taper it off at the top along the spine, leaving a flat surface so that we can add sort of a serrated edge. To create this look, we're going to take a round file and grind down along the flat surface that we created. Once those are filed down to your liking, what we're going to do is give it more of a rugged look by filing down the sides as well. Next, I sanded off the corners of the handle so it's a little more comfortable in your hand. Paint the whole thing black, the edges silver, and then glue the guard onto the handle. As you can see, there's indents in the handle. To make this happen, we use some spray adhesive and attach craft foam around the handle, and then use a blade to cut out the pre-measured lines that we have there, and then just peel off the excess. Next up, we're going to wrap the handle with that same black fabric that we use on the mask and the Deadpool swords. It's got to match if it's going to be a part of the outfit. So cut out enough fabric to get the job done. And remember, we're leaving a little bit of the craft foam sticking out. I decided to end the wrapping on the back of the knife that's up against your cap since that's the least visible spot. Be careful to not get that spray adhesive everywhere. It's pretty messy. And the fabric is going to need a little help sticking inside the indents. So I use a bit of string to wrap tightly along the indents and then let it sit there while it dried. And then now we can move on to the holster. If you didn't do the Deadpool sword holster tutorial and you don't have any extra plastic, you could go to Home Depot and get one of these plastic tubs and use one of these lids. And since all we need is the flat surface in the middle, I trimmed off the edges and then I marked out the base of the holster. Now trace the blade of the knife onto that plastic as well and then we're going to add rectangles to each edge that are about a quarter inch wide. Now cut out all these pieces including the rectangles and on that first piece use an X-Acto knife to cut out some rectangles to fit the webbing through the back. Hot glue isn't the neatest method but it was quick and it got the job done. So glue that all together and then shoot the whole thing with some black spray paint. 
These rivets are completely optional since they serve absolutely no purpose. But if you're trying to get on my level, all you gotta do is pre-drill some holes and then use a rivet gun to shoot those in. You might have a little excess depending on what kind of rivets you use, so just use a Dremel and cut the ends off of them. And make sure to take breaks while cutting them because if they overheat, they're gonna melt your plastic holster and then that's gonna be a big no-no. The last thing we get to work on is the strapping system. To decide how much webbing you'll need, fasten one end onto either side of the clip, bust out your leg, wrap it around, and mark where you'll cut, making sure to give yourself extra wiggle room. Once you cut that out, don't forget to burn the end because you don't want it to fray on you. The trick to feeding the webbing through those two slots that you cut out earlier is to actually shove one end in as far as you can and take one of those barbecue skewer sticks to go into the holster and poke it out of the other hole. So here are a few close-up shots of how I put the webbing into each of the clips. And if you look closely you can see the red stitching and I did this so that my knife doesn't fall out while I'm slaying people, you know? And that is it! We have successfully completed yet another Deadpool tutorial through my channel. Thanks for watching again. Uh, make sure to let me know if I've been doing a good job or not by giving me a thumbs up, critiquing me down below, and subscribing so you can keep updated for my future videos. Keep the ideas coming. There's already a few that I chose I wanted to build already. Kind of already started on them. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts on Patreon? Should I start one? Would you fund me? Would you support me? If I had more of a budget for my builds, I'd take on way bigger projects. And I'd love that. I'd like to know your thoughts. Be sure to bug me on social media so you can see what I've been up to or why I'm slacking or what's coming up next. I have Instagram for future builds, I have Snapchat for some behind the scenes and whatever randomness I come up with, and I have Twitter for, I actually don't know why, maybe some Q&A or something. Prop like it's hot, know it. I was limited to 15 characters, and of course I had 16 in Prop It Like It's Hot. Hopefully we can be more connected and I can answer more questions through here, so I don't leave y'all hanging. It's time for me to work on the next video, so I'll see you guys then. See ya.